Local health officials and researchers are looking to get a better understanding of the impact of Hurricane Harvey had on people's physical and mental health, and they're asking you to weigh in on it. Here to talk more about the effort is Project Lead, Dr. Mari Lynn Miranda, Rice University Provost and Professor of Statistics. Good morning to you. Good morning. So who all's involved in this project? It sounds fascinating, and it sounds like you could get a lot of good information out well, of we're it. We're very excited about it. It's a highly collaborative project that involves the Houston Health Department, Harris County Public Health, the Montgomery County Public Health Department, Fort Bend County Health Department, and Rice University. We're very interested in being as inclusive as possible. Mm -hmm. What type of information are you looking for? We're looking to understand the short, medium, and long-term effects of the hurricane. We know uh, we have all kinds of films and images in our mm -hmm. mind, but we also know that these have long-term impacts on the quantity and the quality of housing that are available to people, but also long-term impacts on their health. So we're trying to get an understanding of what those impacts might be, whether respiratory impacts or mental health impacts, so that we can better serve the people of our region. How would you go about better serving? How does this information go on to, to make a difference for right. future problems? So this is why it's so important that we have collaborators from public health departments across the region. The information that's coming in through the registry is being will, will be used by the public health departments to design intervention programs to provide services to people in need. So how does our community to get involved. How can we back you on this and really help you get the information you're looking for? Oh, thank you for asking that. There's a website, harveyregistry.rice.edu. You can go to that website. We need everybody to register, whether you flooded or didn't flood, whether you had home damage or didn't have home damage. We need everybody to register. Go to harveyregistry.rice.edu. What happens once you go in there and sign up? Once you go in there and sign up, you'll be asked a series of questions. It takes about eight to ten minutes to complete the survey. Then you're officially a registrant or a participant mm -hmm. in, the, in the registry, and we'll send you periodic updates on what we're learning from the registry so that everybody who signs up with the registry is helping, to, uh, mm -hmm. helping us uh, come up with solutions. So we want people to understand what we're learning from it, so we'll be re providing regular updates to the Such people who a, join. a good idea, and I think it's important for people to know whether they had damage or not. It's exactly. going to make a difference in what you're doing. Is there a particular deadline? Is there a time when you need people to sign up. Well, the registry, we hope, will be a long-lived project okay. and will be in place for, you know, five, six years. Mm -hmm. The World Trade Center registry after 9-11 is still ongoing, so we're hoping this will be long-term. Mm -hmm. So there's no deadline, but we have a big push to get as many people signed up as possible before the end of the year. Well, thank you for coming in today. Thank you.